Every game has creatures, whether it be player characters, non-player characters, monsters, or just basic enemies. And in this video, we'll be showing how to create basic creature using D20 Pro, how to add attack automation, how to convert a creature from Hero Lab to D20 Pro, then how to update that creature when it levels. To create a character in D20 Pro, we're going to go to the D20 Pro main menu. We're going to go down to a library. Inside the library, we're going to make sure we have selected the creature library. Now we can go ahead and press the create button on the bottom, which creates a new unknown creature. We're going to go ahead and click on the picture of that unknown creature, which brings up the edit library creature. Now we're just going to copy and paste some information in or select it from the drop down menu, such as name, alignment, you know, size, base, and reach, speed, hit dice, type, XP, hit points, some saves, the attributes, the class and level, and the armor class bonuses, and also the custom bonus, and in this case it's Comet Maneuver Defense or Pathfinder. And feats, we're going to add a custom feat. We're going to delete the carriage returns. Now we're going to add the attacks, common maneuver bonus, long sword, and a lance. And to indicate weapon focus, we just increase the two hit value. Now changing the damage, the critical range, the type of damage what it's versus, AC or comment maneuver defense. If it's subject to multiple attacks, if you have a base attack bonus, plus six or higher. Gonna go into the skills, add handle animal perception and ride, add the ranks and the miscellaneous if they're skilled or not. Now we're just adding the gear, which is optional. In this case, chainmail, heavy wooden shield, a lance, and a long sword, and a rolled value of gold and the silver. No spells, abilities, or description I want of note, so we're just gonna copy the stat block into the notes. Now we want to put an image, click on the image. We can select from ones that we've imported previously, or we can import an image from file a clipboard. In this case, we'll look, use Google Knight image and copy it. We're going to use it from the clipboard. We're going to configure the crop to 200 pixels by 200 pixels. And I'm just adjusting it so you can see a little bit more. So we're going to apply the crop as a JPEG since there's no transparency. And if we wanted to change the image, we can go back and click on the image again and press OK to save. And there we have it. As you can see now, we level the knight from level 4 to level 5. One thing to note when we're exporting from Hero Lab is to always click on this armor tab and make sure the armor and shields are selected. So that is reflected on your AC, which converts over to D20 Pro. So to convert, we go to File, go to Save Custom Output, make sure it's set to D20 Pro Output. Go ahead and press Output, save it to where you'd like. Now we want to import that creature we just exported from Hero Lab. So we go here to the import button. We select Hero Lab. Find where it's at. On this case, it's Knight Level 5 import. And as you can see, that imported Level 5 Knight from Hero Lab. There will be occasions where your players will level, and the easiest way to level a creature on the map is to go ahead and right-click on the creature, go to Alter, then go to Merge. Now we'll select the creature we want to merge it with, which is now level 5. We can see the hit points change from 34 to 41. We can see the AC goes from 20 to 21. And we can see some of the skills have improved. Go ahead and press Next. We'll see the resulting merged creature. Go to Finish. And now we've successfully leveled a creature from level 4 to level 5 using the Merge feature. This has been a D20 Pro video tutorial. For more information, visit us online at d20pro.com.